Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Please do subscribe to all three channels. Click the little bell. Hopefully, you get some notifications now and then. And we just did one on Heart's Home talking about the Christ and Krishna and looking a little bit deeper into the teachings of both and looking for commonality. Now, jumping over to the weather, you see this one right here, Storm Idalia, Florida preparing, Category 4 hurricane. DeSantis tells 1.5 million, get out now. That sounds like a little, uh, a little uh, terror, yeah. a little, little bluff, or, well, in these times we can't say anything's a bluff, we can't say it's just loose. Because it wouldn't be the first time that we see something that wasn't nothing uh, turn into a Category 4 or even a 5 storm. That's right. You know, if I, if I was in that situation and told to leave, I probably would. Yeah, especially like, you know, it, it takes time. I mean, seriously, you got 75 and 95 and you got 20 million people, I would say, in, in Florida and you know I, i've done it myself in 2017 uh evacuated out and what took should have taken two hours took like 12. so you know it is something to be aware of forecasters predict it could turn into a very dangerous category three or four uh storm as we see uh, my fox hurricane right here is showing cat three now this is changing because, you know, just like a day ago, we were looking at one and then they were looking at the possibility of it being two. Now they're showing three and now some are saying cat four. You know, we understand there is definitely a lot of artificial flavoring involved in the weather these days. Yes, a lot of natural and artificial flavoring. Natural and artificial ingredients, to be sure. Always better to be safe than star sorry, whether you're hunkering down or whether you're uh, leaving. As you see, these, these are the computer models, which, you know, they're relatively in agreement. Somewhere between uh, Tampa and Tallahassee, it should come ashore. We will send our prayers to everybody in Florida. Again, it is par for the course to have, you know, a hurricane this time of year. It's peak season. Uh, and when it's interesting too, because when they're showing these these different models with water temperatures, they're showing 86 to 88. And you know, before we were getting all this, oh my God, it's Armageddon! The water's boiling in the Gulf of Mexico, and yeah, 86 to 88. That's that's actually what I remember. You know, I, I when I was there, I remember it getting over into the 90s. You know, the water temperature, again, we understand there is an agenda underway. Sitco gasoline from Port of Tampa contaminated with diesel. So uh, if you got gas at any of these locations, there's 20, uh, I think there was 20 something of them. In this area, you might have gotten contaminated fuel, which could harm your engines and you know, could even leave you stranded during evacuation. You know, is everything just a coincidence? I don't know. It looks pretty creepy to me. Yeah, so I'll give you guys the link, but this was distributed, uh, as we can see here. Uh, Holiday, Lithia, Lehigh Acres, Fort Myers, Lakeland, North Cape Coral, Cape Coral, Brooksville, Plant City, uh, Zephyr Hills, da, 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 Fort Myers, you know, it, all over. Port Charlotte, too, Daytona Beach, even, Sarasota, Tampa. I mean, seriously, can you imagine that? Can you imagine getting contaminated gas and you're trying to get out of town and all of a sudden you can't? Oh, that makes you kind of feel a little suspicious there. Meanwhile, we see a helicopter going down Broward County. This was a fire rescue helicopter that crashed into a building, Pompano Beach Air Park, sparking a large fire. Three people possibly on board. Uh, believe it or not, both pilots made it out alive after this helicopter went down and it hit an apartment complex. 
hmm, Cindy gets that there's something to this. Uh, she gets that there's something to this. Well, let's let's just keep an eye on it because I think there's um, ties that are going to show up that are, are relevant to something. So we'll watch. Yeah, relevant. Uh, well, it, it's hmm, it's a fire rescue helicopter. Now, you know, that looked like there was a fire that developed and looks like they lost the tail. Um, be curious to see what, what happened. Crazy times we have here. Crazy, crazy times. And speaking about that, federal authorities have been investigating nearly 5,000 pilots suspected of falsifying their medical records to conceal conditions that would make them unfit to fly. You know, we, we shared with you when we talked about channeling and when we channeled the star children from the year 2055, uh, there is no airplane traffic uh, on the entirety of the globe. There's no airplanes an anywhere flying. There's some starships, you know, or what you might call uh, spaceships that, that come and go, but there's no human planes flying. And we're already seeing the beginning of this. And in, in France, for instance, if there's a train, you have to take the train. You can't use a plane. You know, it's it's just part of the law. They're going to cut down on our ability to move. And in fact, it does feel likely that we'll experience some form of lockdown by the end of the year. And we know there were certain dates for men that were in place that all these pilots had to do. So now you got 5,000 pilots hiding health issues i wonder where that came from yeah you know i mean this stuff just kind of creeps up on you it might seem like little bitty incidences but no they really build up oh this is so much bigger than as it appears to most but i know you guys get it and talking about big we got a 7.1 in indonesia 513 and a half kilometers deep so this is a deep one and again deeper means uh two things you know less damage on the surface because it's so deep but it also means the potential for something bigger is coming so you could almost look at 7.1 as likely that goes this deep as likely a precursor for something else uh downstream upstream so you know again anywhere from up in india nepal this whole area going up into the philippines towards japan maybe even japan itself or going deeper into indonesia heading towards fiji uh, you know it's interesting too because it is you know straight across from our west coast um, but we shall see there was also a little 2.3 and a 3.6 in ohio that were just a tiny bit unusual and then we have students at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill fleeing from a window because of an active shooter. Yeah, we've had a ton of active shooters. And North Carolina University shooting suspect, Tai Lei Chi, shot dead member of staff as the Wuhan educated physics PhD student was seen in handcuffs sparking a manhunt on his first day back. You know, it's curious because, you know, not Nessie, but Nessie is curious too. Um, this kid appears to be brilliant. He has ties to Wuhan. He was a student in Wuhan. As you can see here, uh, graduate student, nanoparticle synthesis, light matter interaction, spectra analysis, machine learning. Hmm. Worked in Wuhan. No kidding. You got to wonder, as you see him here uh, under custody, what is going on? What was going on in his head? Was he hearing little voices, you know, uh, or was he, you know, was he undercover? Yeah. How deeply entrenched is he in the PCC? When we put that up to a mirror, curious, is it not? And there's so many things that are curious with Maui. And, you know, did you know, as we see here, Hawaiian Electric put out a statement that they had shut off the power lines hours before the Maui fires started. Uh, they did? Well, I mean, remember when we saw? <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's fitting. 
It is fitting. Remember when we saw the videos of the power lines like drop into the ground and like, oh, okay, well, that's that's got to be what did it. Well, that's probably why we saw those videos, but the, the power lines were off. And, and we know there's lights from the sky, fire from the sky, as we talked about the morning dew. You know, that is unfortunately the mountain dew. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, what was that? The Mauna Loa. Maui Blast. The Maui Blast. Yeah. I mean, all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff um, going on. And, you know, there's more and more things like people are talking about seeing black fence pre-installed in the areas where they ended up putting the dust screen. It was that it was already being put up in place before the event actually happened. Now, is that a trick of the mind or was it really happening? Well, th this is part of the big reveal. And a lot of them are talking straight out this has a video and this this gentleman is just is saying this is what he he believes this is everything he's uh come to the conclusion after looking all all the evidence that's out there it's a land grab they're they're taking hold of the land so when when you realize that the problem is the government that that that's that's just a big big reveal as you got a car that was melted two miles away uh, from the center point of the fires, but apparently, you know, maybe it was a person of significant interest because, you know, their car melted to the ground. Other cars were just fine. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, again, when we did that video yesterday showing the blue helmets, maybe there's a reason that the UN has soldiers wear blue helmets. I know, you definitely have to ask the question, what's going on with that color blue? What's going on with all of the labels on on Mountain Dew cans? You know, hey, I'm not saying that it's anything suspicious, but it just really, really looks kind of funny. The fence is going up before they need to go up. Um, how, how, many, how many more coincidences is needed before people really lock in and say no this this isn't going to happen i'm not we're not going to let the controllers take over you know this is not fair i i think people really need to stand up physically and stand up for themselves their families other people and we need to send them energy if people are out there you know going out to these meetings speaking these truths we really need to get our energy behind them because that's what it's going to take it's going to take for more of us to show ourselves that we can see the truth than less of us. So we just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Well, we all got used to people covering their faces during the plague upon the land. And now we're you know, being told that, that there's going to be another period in time where you're going to all be covering your faces again. And then we look at some people still want to keep, keep their faces covered. There's been so many people on the uh, anti-fa side of things that are always wearing their masks and then when you get their mask remover remember those gentlemen and one of them was identified as you know hey this is somebody that's that's gonna be working for your fbi and and cia e yeah and and there you go as we know al cia duh, right you remember all those things that end up turning to be pretty damn accurate e yeah this is all the dissolution of a system it's the end game, absolutely. And this this little article from Zero Hedge is saying the end game for the American Empire, but it's more than just the American Empire. It's more than just NATO. It's the end game for the the system, the true controllers. They they are losing power. Um, again, a wounded animal is the most dangerous, and yeah, they're in the death throes of debt, depravity, and denial. All of all of that, it, and it's all being showed. The archetypal big cycle and where are we in this well this is talking about the u.s uh saying that in reality we're certainly over here at at 15 but even more than that yeah we do have internal conflict going on all the time they've been printing money forever loss of reserve currency is is really happening uh, as we speak you know and so you know for those that are looking at big decisions you know I would recommend going into meditation, and I can't I can't underestimate 
I wish people wouldn't underestimate the power of meditation and focus and tension. Clearing your mind, allowing yourself time to just be and see what comes to you. You know, think about inspiration and channeling. I think about like the great the great musical geniuses like Beethoven and Bach and so many others or somebody uh, on a different side of it like Tesla they channeled they channeled music they channeled information just like Cindy channels it's channeling how do you channel well you gotta learn how to still your mind because if our mind is constantly generating these thoughts, we're never going to hear anything else. If we're constantly singing at the top of our lungs or screaming at the top of our lungs, we're not going to hear all the little things happening around us. So, yeah, a mind-body breath practice is absolutely critical for these times. And, and it's so healthy so that you can hear that still small voice like, you know, which way do I go? What do I do? Doing this mind body breath gives you that makes the little voice a little louder Absolutely, so yeah, what's up next as you can see it ends with civil war revolution This is all part of what has been planned and it's bigger than what this article is talking about So I wanted to just show some things that we got um this right here you can see is our beloved Sita and Sita sees what's not there but it's not really that it's not there she just sees what most people can't see and she'll go chasing things and barking up in the sky and so you know Cindy has a, a, a camera that is really good at catching orbs and so we did a little experiment and yeah Sita is seeing things look at look at these orbs so Cindy will call them in and we'll go and do our mantras and meditation, uh, our evening session, just when uh, it's dusk and going into uh, the early evening. And uh, she'll invite them to come in and we'll feel them, we'll sense them. A lot of times we'll see them with the visible eye, but we'll also uh, be able to get things like this. These are beings, just so you know, the, these are consciousnesses. Some of these are elemental beings, others are human, others are other things. <laughs> yes, they're definitely consciousness and they come to see you and you speak to them like you would uh, any anyone else. You know, you, you, you talk with them, you bring inspiration to them, they bring inspiration to you. And these beings come forward and it was such a huge blessing to be able to do this because I, I haven't been able to get these uh, photos in a long time. I, I would get them out in the desert a lot. I, I would have conversations with them and take photos and they would, they would follow the dogs around. So usually if I just took pictures of the dogs, I could see the orbs around the dogs and sometimes not. They love to hang by the trees too, these little elementals. So generally you get a lot that are right by the tree, sometimes a lot that are in the tree but this is what it looked like like right after a conversation that I had with them and I called them in and so many came to to show themselves and to say hello and I'm just so grateful and so tickled and I know that these are good little elementals they're playful elementals because when you when you channel you can feel you can feel this little tingling in your solar plexus where they are playful they are having fun they want to go along they want to be part of our life and that's something that I say I say we want to take pictures and we want to make you part of our lives and and here they are yeah and we we have a lot of different entities um, around us where we're, where we're at right now and you know some of them are humans that have passed on uh, the old older gentleman look, this one's a particularly bright one yeah <laughs> you can see how bright that one is uh, the older gentleman passed on about 20 years ago and then his wife passed on about two years ago So she was by herself for about 18 years um, They're still here. So, you know, they they do at times make themselves known in the house This one's right on the ground here um, like Yeah, she sees it as a stick man. I could I could have seen it before a little bit more in that way I wonder if it was a different one that we had 
Um, we literally got 90 of these, <laughs> 90 just from one night. Um, as you can see, these up in the sky. You know, some of these are, are literally um, guardian spirits that are here oh, here to protect. This this, this is not basically what you would call an, an angel. You know, this is a protector. Um, I actually see more of a, a lion in that. Um, I don't know what you she guys left. see. Yeah, we do have a, a protective uh, lion energy. And, you know, again, part of that is from the stellar background. So you can see all these. These, again, we're never alone, guys. We're, we're never alone. And a lot of these little interesting lights as well. We're never alone. We, we are constantly surrounded by beings. And the difference is... That when we're farther along, like when we're in the silver and in the, in the golden age, we know they're there. We know they're there. And we interact with them. We're able to interact with them. They're not fearful of us like they are during the dark age because, you know, again, humanity is not embodying the highest vibrational frequency. Um, we also have uh, the spirit of a young lady uh, who passed on a long time ago. She was here from the golden age, and she's still here. And actually, Cindy channeled her the other night. Um, I think it was even last night she, that she came through and shared information. Um, you know, she's somebody that who her parents came here from elsewhere meaning a different star system and they settled here on earth with many other beings earth was uh, a way station with all sorts of beings from different planets from different star systems and you know it's so interesting here we have a world now where we talk about race as being something that is a point of of division and contention at times and that's just so silly that it is that way because you know the earth at different times had many different beings from all different places you know people from the pleiades people from lyra people from uh sirius people from all over many orion you know all here cohabitating different species totally different species not just different human species some species that would not even re look remotely like human and all cohabitating all getting along just just fine mostly uh, definitely in the golden age and the silver and the bronze then you know these others came and she was talking about uh, the Draco and saying, you know, what she sees with the Draco because the Draco, uh, they instigate problems. They really are that that devil on your shoulder trying to get you in trouble. And how do you avoid the Draco? Well, keep your vibrations high. And again, I would strongly recommend the Vedic mantras for any that uh, are willing to to utilize them. They will most definitely raise your frequency high. Even just basically doing qigong yoga, finding yourself in a centered, peaceful frequency, getting out into nature. All those things are wonderful uh, because that's the only way they can they can uh, utilize us is when we lower our frequency. So if you do imbibe alcohol, if you're using uh, prescription medications, uh, if you're taking illegal substances, all those things will lower your frequency and just open the door wide open for them to jump in and, and manipulate. So we want to do our best to heal our traumas and work on ourselves and heal heal the mind, body, and spirit because this is where, you know, you can you can really make a lot of progress, you know, and I, I really enjoy taking photos of these orbs and it was really fun to see uh, Sita playing with them because she really does. She would run around the yard and, 
she would look up and she would bark at things and I, I knew exactly what was going on because that's what happened to me I I couldn't tell the difference between my third eye and my my two eyes I, I saw to me everything was the same when I was young when I was small until I was told differently and you know luckily Sita is not able to be told differently nor she'll never understand differently so she'll always have this blessing where she'll be able to see things both with third eye and the two eyes and and mix them mix them both together um usually when I when I see children who can see like this usually when they go through puberty or when life happens trauma happens that's when these things diminish but you know Sita's really sweet in the sense where she'll be watching someone speak and a little entity or a little ghost might pop out of their body and Sita will see it and she'll bark she'll bark she's not barking mean but I know exactly what she's seeing and and she she's really a pup that is not understood and I'm so glad that we ended up with her because anyone else really wouldn't understand her they absolutely would not have understood her and given her the the love and um expansion that that we do because we do understand her and I could see what was going on well, she literally called to me and, and you know, I ran it by Cindy. Why don't we get somebody to be with Rama? What if we look for a female and maybe the lady has, you know, the breeder has a female and then, yeah, absolutely had one left and it was Sita who was the runt and now she's a 105 pound runt. Yeah, but, you know, she does have uh, abilities because she sees these things. And where she was barking up in the air is where that one big guardian spirit was. So she was interacting and playing with it. And, you know, again, we have these interactions like every day. It's just the way we, we are. And other people are having these type of interactions, too. And then again, as we progress into the bronze and into the silver and the gold, everybody does. So, you know, this is part of, of the big unveiling. We've never been alone, never, ever, even embodied or out of body. Because, again, out of body, this is what m many of us look like. Mm -hmm. I know. And, and we want to talk for just a moment about our very special dear sister, Mary D, who is also very good at channeling in another way. She is so good at channeling these amazing entities, the elementals, to a point where when I have her work sitting in front of me, and I do right now, I, I incorporate it into my own work, it pulls you in. It's like she engages a type of energy when she's making these things, and you will feel the happiness if you have something that she has made, you're going to feel that happiness that she felt when she made it. So she has a way of infusing the love and the fun of these elementals into all of her work. And hold on, I have one of these, this, um, yes, a fairy door. And when you open this fairy door, I, I, I go in there. It's really kind of interesting. And I can almost feel her brain as she was making it and go inside and uh, <laughs> explore so it's a lot of fun and, and she spends a lot of time making these I'm pretty sure everything is on here on, on the website and she she makes some other amazing pieces of work that are just jaw-dropping and she uses a lot of things that are uh, that are um, she doesn't just buy everything she'll she'll utilize natural natural sources you know like tree bark or something that that uh, Mother Nature is done with. She'll take it and she'll make her own little little tiny homes. And they are so, so cute. Can't say enough good things about her. Yeah, we love Mary. Mary is most definitely one of the most elemental beings we know. Like like this, you know, it, it's maybe her first human incarnation coming over from the elemental realm. She's still so connected to it. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll put the link up at the top of the video so you can uh, see that as well. So, you know, we're in for trying times, guys. It's going to be challenging, but smile. This, this is the end of the system. The system is ending. We're just watching it implode upon itself. Yes, change is happening. Absolutely. Look forward to your questions and comments. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.